this the main piece of trauma that you felt that you still had pieces of left with after the show? This is one big piece, but I also feel that there's another piece that is for many people who go on, on, on reality TVs. It's not just Big Brother related. Uh, it's the sense of uh, being used and discarded. And I think this is not just for reality TV. This is for uh, life in general. You know, people that get retrenched and things like this with work. You know, we are like, like the whole idea of human resources, that we are a resource, you know, that we are not, you know, unique, beautiful human beings, that, that we get kind of used by companies and thrown away. Once our use by date is done, you know, you can imagine something in your mind, how it's going to be. But then when you're actually going through the experience of, of, you know, being in this 15 minutes of, sh 15 minutes of fame, I was almost going to say shame, like Freudian slip there. <laughs> so the 15 minutes, Freudian slip. <laughs> So the Freudian slip, uh, so, so 15 minutes of fame, like what is fame? The idea that, I mean, most people, this is another piece I wanted to share, that most people are craving to be famous because they think that fame is going to give them something. And so it's not really the fame, it's the outcome of the fame. Things like reality TV, you know, you're, you become famous because of the media machine. You're not famous because of what your purpose is. You become famous because the machine makes you famous. So um, pure fame without purpose is like, it's like cotton candy. You know, it's, it's sugar, pure, pure sugar, tastes good for five minutes and then it's, it makes you sick. Um, so after the year of, of doing this, this fame, machine this fame game with you know performances and uh, you know interviews and signing of cds and all these different things that they put us through uh, they put us through you know, that got we got invited to do let's just say that yeah. so i consented to it so is it traumatic if i consent to it well it depends i mean you know if you didn't have a very good idea about your own sense of boundaries at that point and what a full body yes felt like and what it felt like to have your boundaries crossed, then of course you can be in consent of something and be completely traumatized by it and not have the foresight to be able to know what those decisions are going to entail as well. Yeah, exactly. So the component here is informed consent. Um, so I guess there is no way to inform us beforehand because there was also, we were the guinea pigs. We didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. And this is yeah. also the, you know, sharing the aftermath. I don't want to put it out as a victimhood piece that, oh my God, they did this and this to me and stuff. I recognize that I did choose. Uh, and I also recognize that there were challenges within it. There were, there were challenges and lessons that I learned. Um, among these, the idea that um, we live in a bubble. Most of us live in a bubble of our friends and our family and the people we interact with at work, which are mostly our peers. Yeah, we, you know, I was, you know, I was thrown in the big, vast space of society. You know, I could go get a, a you know, if I needed to buy a, a carton of milk at the shop, I was getting recognized, you know, on a day like if I was hungover and I just needed to go to the shop to get some milk and come back, I was going to get accosted by people asking me questions about Big Brother and asking me personal questions and, and you know, acting as if they knew me. And they didn't, of course. They knew what was presented. And this is the same now with, with social media, you know. What we see is what is projected, but that's not the person's life. That's not who they are. That's not the fullness of who they are, but we are still judging them from that small fraction of what is being shown. Um, and so much judgment. Yeah, I, in the interview, coming into the house, she's like, what do you want to get com from coming out of the house? Like, do you think you're going to win? It's like, I don't know if I win or if I lose. I would like to just be more happy and know more about myself. And I got that. What do you want the experience to bring to you? Um, a lot of happiness. Um, 
maybe fame, maybe money. I don't know. Um, whatever comes, I'll be happy to accept it.